all things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be enslaved by anything. I want to ask you a question. Do you benefit from your mistakes or others' mistakes? Everyone is liable to do mistakes, but a wise person benefits from his or her mistakes. He gains spiritual experience, knowledge and care not to sin in the future. In this respect, one of the fathers said, I do not remember the devil agitating me with the same sin twice. A spiritual person attains humility through his faults. He realizes and becomes aware of his weaknesses and how he is liable to make mistakes like others. He would not be proud or arrogant or think himself special. St. Paul the Apostle said, Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. When the ignorant person falls, he could weaken and continue his fault, becoming used to falling. He might despair, gets depressed and collapses. As for the wise man, he understands the devil's tricks and combats them through his sin. He learns how the devil gets to the human soul and becomes more precautious and precise. It might even help him to guide others as he becomes more aware of the way. A spiritual person benefits from his mistakes through sympathy with others. As the Apostle says, Remember the prisoners as if chained with them, and those who are mistreated, since you yourselves are in the body also. Therefore, when the spiritual person fails, he becomes more sympathetic towards others without judging or rebuking. As he himself knows the power of devils and the weaknesses of human nature. The spiritual person benefits from his mistakes by the practice of praying for himself and others. He is completely certain that man's victory does not depend on his strength and cleverness but on God's help as he leads us to victory. Therefore, one gets more attached to prayer saying to God, hold me up and I shall be safe and our God will fight for us. The one who searches for benefits profits from his mistakes as well as others' mistakes. Therefore, God permitted in his Holy Bible to mention others' mistakes, even those of prophets and righteous people, so we may benefit from others' mistakes. Our God who said, and out of the strong came something sweet, is also able to give us a useful lesson from each sin for the salvation of ourselves. Thus we benefit from all those we meet in life, from the righteous we take an example, and from our sins and those of others we gain experience and courteousness. Are you still with us? Well, let's take a look at the following. Food for thought. God didn't promise days without pain, laughter without sorrow, sun without rain, but he did promise strength for the day, comfort for the tears, and light for the way. Disappointments are like the road bumps. They slow you down a bit but you enjoy the smooth road after they're gone. Don't stay on the bumps too long. Move on. When you feel down because you didn't get what you want, just sit tight and be happy because God is thinking of something better to give you. When something happens to you, good or bad, consider what it means. Don't be sad. There's a purpose to life's events, to teach you how to laugh more or not to cry too hard. You can't make someone love you 
All you can do is be someone who can be loved. The rest is up to the other person to realize your worth. What the heart gives away is never gone. It is kept in the hearts of others. Remember that great love and great achievements involve great risks. The measure of love is when you love without measure. In life there are very rare chances that you'll meet the person you love and who loves you in return. So once you have it, don't ever let go. The chance might never come your way again. It's better to lose your pride to the one you love than to lose the one you love because of pride. We spend so much time looking for the right person to love or finding fault with those who already love, when instead we should be perfecting the love we give. When you truly care for someone, you don't look for faults. You don't look for answers. You don't look for mistakes. Instead, you fight the mistakes. You accept the faults and you overlook excuses. Never abandon an old friend. You will never find one who can take his or her place. Friendship is like fine wine. It gets better as it grows older. Five rules to be happy. 1. Free your heart from hatred. 2. Free your mind from worries. 3. Live simply. 4. Give more. And 5. Expect less. And remember what Christ said. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, keep us from all pettiness. Let us be large in thought, in word, in deed. Let us be done with fault-finding and leave off all self-seeking. May we put away all pretense and meet each other face to face without self-pity and without prejudice. May we never be hasty in judgment and always be generous. Let us always take time for all things and make us to grow calm, serene and gentle. Teach us to put into action our better impulses, to be straightforward and unafraid. Grant that we may realize that it is the little things of life that create differences, that in the big things of life we are as one. And, O oh Lord God, let us not forget to be kind. Amen.